I think that the current proposals from the Commission on Refugees are very worrying. I think they run the risk of being regressive, um, punitive to people who are seeking international protection, and that they're really not going to work in the way that the Commission hopes that they'll work. And why is that? I think that the Commission, instead of looking at well, what does work, and therefore building their responses on that, is looking at what, what is, what's administratively um, appropriate, as it were, you know, what looks as if it's strict, that it works, that it will give the same results. And therefore, a lot of what they're looking at is um, speed of decision making, they're not looking at the quality of decision making. They're not looking at how long does it really take somebody to find a lawyer, to actually be able to present a case, um, to really be able to defend what it is that they want. So they're looking at a lot at the, the deadlines, the administrative convenience, every member state doing the same thing. But they'll find it won't work because you're dealing with human beings and their circumstances are different. They are afraid that there will be a lot of refugees coming and they want to do it efficiently. Well, they're certainly afraid that there will be a lot more refugees coming. And therefore, you, you know, what they're trying to do is to show that they're really in control of what they're doing at the moment. Um, but that I think that in terms of why people move, the Commission is not really looking at can we give people um, safe routes into the European Union, you know, that nobody likes smugglers and traffickers making a fortune out of people's misery. But what are you supposed to do if you have no legal way into the European Union, for example? You were involved in the revision of the refugee regulations in, uh, what, four or five years ago? Yes, I was involved with the, um, the revision of the refugee regulations around about 2011. In fact, I was the person in the Parliament who took through the revision of the qualifications directive. You know, what are the criteria you have to meet in order to get international protection? And I worked on the Dublin system and a number of other things as well. So, you know, I'm very familiar with a lot of the arguments and I think a lot of us in the Parliament who followed this for a while have an understanding of what works and what works for refugees, not just what works for an administration that wants to get people through the system and in some cases sent back as fast as possible. And what was the viewpoint of the Parliament at that time? The viewpoint of the Parliament when we did the last revision um, four or five years ago was very much that we have to make sure that refugees get a real examination of their case so that you can't just set it aside for administrative reasons or you can't say well you came in on a false passport therefore that makes your claim invalid because that runs counter to the refugee convention so we were looking very much at what would work for refugees um, so that people would feel if their case was going to be properly examined, then they wouldn't want to move on to another country. If they thought they were being treated with dignity, they wouldn't want to move on. You know, so we're, we're very much concerned about having a system that works not only for the administration, because that is important that people trust the system, but that it also works for the refugees, those who really need protection. And do you think that these points of view can get into uh, the new regulation as well. You say it's becoming more administratively convenient now. I think it's becoming more difficult because I think the Commission has changed its attitude. I think the Commission now is the, the force that's putting forward the um, what looks administratively tidy, but, what but can the Parliament, Parliament do? do? I think that the Parliament can certainly raise a lot of the questions. We can put in table amendments, we can get majorities in the Parliament for, you know, to hold on to some of the good things we've got and to resist some of the changes. And of course, what's also important to the Parliament is public reaction and the public input. And I think more and more people now in a number of our countries have a better understanding of what, what make, why refugees seek protection and therefore what they might need to really help them either build a new life in the European Union or at least make sure their life 
doesn't shrivel while they're here so that when they return to their country of origin they go back with something more than they came with if they do if they do yeah. some will some won't